we had a lot of fun up there. I think I said something like, it's the end of the electric guitar era. Looking back, maybe it was a bad idea, because that guitar wasn't so bad after all. But I hated it that night, so I burned it alive. show in like four months and I think that we were all kind of starting to get a little bit of cabin fever. I We'll go like four or five days without even leaving the house. I got sick of wearing sweatpants every day. We just wanted to do something that um, you wouldn't be able to place in a, in a certain time period and uh, it's been really challenging writing lyrics for something like that when our last record had so many uh, references to pop culture. It's kind of just like a love story. <laughs> This is screaming! This is screaming! 
If you want to use the bass, if you want to play bass on your songs or whatever. Acoustic performance. Me and Brennan. I flew in from LA and Ryan drove from his house and we just kind of put a little set together. Winged it. No! You guys to be cheated, so. Uh... Oh my god! Panic? No! Yes, panic at the disco. No, it's good! Let's go. 
You're, you're going to play the Marcus Amphitheater, which uh, at the Marcus is a 23,000 seat venue. Have you played many places at large? We've never we've never headlined anything that that's that big before. So we haven't been on tour for a long time. So this is sort of just a one-off show, and then we're going to get back to the studio because uh, we're in the middle of writing a record right now. So oh, okay. we're not sure um, we're not sure exactly what we want to do. We want to do something different and, and exciting for people to see since we're headlining. we got to think of something, but it, it's definitely going to be different than from what they saw last year. Um, how's the new record coming along? It's going well. Uh, we're probably three quarters of the way done uh, writing, and we should start tracking next month. We're really excited about it, depending on how, how rehearsals go and stuff. We might be able to play a new song. We, we just have to figure it out. There's a lot of things that um, we, we've demoed, but... Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's missing from the songs that we wouldn't be able to play live right now because we haven't recorded them. So okay. if they sound good enough on their own, then we'll play them. And, uh, when would you like to see it out? Uh, well, we were originally thinking that it would be out in the fall, but um, we're, we're still not done writing, so it's probably going to have to be pushed back till spring now. Okay. We'll probably be done with it towards the end of the summer. I really love all of uh, Danny Elfman's stuff, uh, all of his movies, and um, John Bryan does some great stuff, like Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind. Even old, older stuff really has been influencing me lately, like Wizard of Oz. And There's a through line through all the songs on the new record, and um, I wanted to make it something that, that will be very visual, and when people are listening to it, I want them to, you know, I want them to see this picture in their head. When we come back out and start touring again or, you know, we start making new videos, people will probably expect something like that, but I think that this record is going to be totally something something new. You know, just about every article I've read on you guys, they focus on the remarkable good fortune you had in getting signed before you even played a gig and how fast you guys broke out. Does it, does it get tiresome after a while? <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, I feel like, um, you know, that's, that's a nice story for people to print, but... I've been playing in bands since I was 13 years old. I've been, you know, playing in a band with our drummer for five years before we got signed. So it's not like we picked up our instruments one day and next next second we had a record deal. We have friends who wanted to play live right as well, but they weren't able to. So we figured we'd just give them a little shout out right here, real quick.
cool. So what are Sour Patch Kids? It's one of the best American-made candies. They're probably not even made in America, but yeah, no, they ship them to us from wherever. Like, and what have you seen recently? More popcorn. Oh, well, French I, cinema. I've seen all of those. Plus, actually, if you bring up a French cinema, yeah, I saw this movie called The Valet a couple weeks ago. It's pretty funny. It's French subtitles. And, uh, you know, I like French people. I like the language. And uh, the movie was funny. It's a bit of a... Silly romp, you know. How many thumbs up? Uh, How many are available? I've only got two, <laughs> but one hand was uh, busy. Busy. <laughs> what? You know. <laughs> what are we doing? The album. Oh. All right, we'll cooperate. Well, uh, stage, what one, to the app? stage one was mountains. Phase, let's call them phase, phase one was was the mountains, Mount Charleston, Nevada. Phase two. Phase two was Burbank slash North Hollywood, California. Tell them about phase slash three, Los John. Angeles, Tell which is kind three. of all the same, if you ask me. <laughs> and uh, phase three right now, uh, which is probably Final three phase. of three of three of eight. Three of four. Three of four. Eight no. phases. No. I don't know. Will there be songs? There will be songs. There'll be songs. I was talking about the phases before. We had one We're, phase where we phase we wrote uh, uh, songs in Mount Charleston. And then we wrote some songs in the studio. Of the record into 19 phases. <laughs> 19 strict phases. <laughs> what will uh, phase 16 be like? Phase 16 oh, phase uh, the bass guitar phase tracking. G, G chord. Yeah, the uh, tracking of all the songs written in G on bass. Because we like to tune the guitar to the song, so we do every song that's in a key. You know, if there's five songs written in G minor, then we'll do all those together. In one phase. In one sitting. And then we pass on to a new phase. You know. What's the saddest chord of all? D, D minor. D minor. D minor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been. Yeah. Yeah. Will you be putting these accents into effect when you play the, the Cadence Fest on August 22nd? Maybe. Yeah. What can we expect from that show? Pure, pure, pure testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play testosterone-infused rock anthems for everyone. To... Do, what can we expect apart from testosterone-driven rock? Uh, yeah, on the like album the, or on uh, the, the, show? the Cadence Fest and Reading Stroke Festival? We're going to play some more new songs. For Reading, we wanted to get a, like a 10 foot chain link fence on wheels that we could wheel out and put right at the front of the stage to play behind this year. Right. So the bottles. Not chain link, more like plexiglass. Like plexiglass. Glass. Well, you know, that's the problem. That's what we're worried about. 300 was such a huge movie, and now everyone's going to be. Everybody's toting influenced spears. that the kids love it. Uh, <laughs> Darts! Learned a lot on that one. <laughs> Dude, oh. can you come and do these podcasts with us once a month? Because that is the That's fun. fun. <laughs> we should have our own radio show. I just wanted to approach these songs um, in the most basic form when we wrote them all on just with like one acoustic guitar and someone singing. And so I think that we kind of just skipped a lot of that part of songwriting on the first record. How, how far are you guys into it right now? We were really far, and then we kind of changed our minds about a lot of stuff and kind of started a new record, and so, I don't know, at this point. I would say we're going to be uh, hopefully in the studio at least in early October, and, okay. and the record should be done over the winter and out in uh, early next year. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's uh, it was good that we went home and um, we're in this same building that we wrote the first record in again and it's just kind of like nice to be back there and doing the same thing in the same place. Does it almost feel like some weird crazy dream and maybe none of this ever actually happened and you're still... Every day. Every day. <laughs> Every night actually. <laughs> as my dream. Yeah, I don't really sleep a lot in the day. <laughs>
past year so far, I'd say. <laughs> so thanks for that. We made it through the first. Thank you. Thanks. thanks a lot. Thank you. We are in Panic at the Disco. Welcome Hello. to this in Reading. thing we're doing. We're back. Welcome to this thing. <laughs> Better than last year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I was pretty um, happy that we made it through the first song. Yeah. Yeah. So, because after that point, it's like, well, it can't be worse than last year. So. Uh, he, he, got, got, he got nicked I in the head. I definitely got. He actually leaned into one. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's true. Exactly. <laughs> I was just. Sure. But it's, gentlemen, welcome to the Reading Festival. BBC One, here we go, you know what I mean? Clocked in the head, there are very few bands that can do that. I feel honored. Actually, <laughs> he's not the only one. John Walker took a, a blow to the forehead today, but it didn't stop him. Is it very different, though, playing one of the, the festivals over here in the UK? It is. Um, especially this one. This is the craziest one uh, we've still done. Last year, and then we had a whole year of shows, and uh, we came back, and I would still say that this is the biggest and, you know, more more things happen at this one than I think any of the other ones do, so it's definitely different. I definitely remember seeing the video and being like, I wish that would happen in my school. Welcome to the jungle, you know what I mean? It's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, right. oh, yeah. Definitely hearing that, I was like, what does that mean? And I had to have my brother explain it to me. I was like, bang her? Well, I don't know if I can say that word, but yeah, yeah, she, um, yeah she definitely says that. Well, they they would, uh, God, what, the mil was it a million ways that they would just play the track and... Do yeah, dance. and they just did the dance. That when was we toured with them, they would end their set with, they would just like basically put the CD on and, and do the video for a million ways. And so I'd never seen anything like that done by a band before. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> was it kind of weird to be like sort of on the road with all, everybody all at once? Yeah, it was. It was, it was fun though, like you said, I think. Uh, we all ended up staying in the same hotels and stuff like that. And it's weird sometimes when you tour with bands, you don't really um, 
you don't really hang out as much as as you can or you should maybe so it's nice to be able to again with all them <laughs> and you guys are still kind of working on on stuff for the, for the new record now there's been a trend of some of the guys from within this little label family you know collaborating guesting on each other's records is any of that in the works or did you guys talk about it all when you're out played in those dates uh no it's not it's not right now i don't think we even know enough about what we're doing to have anybody else come in and try to do something so um, maybe though yeah well it's still rob mathis wants to play you guys a cover song. Have any sort of like fondest memories of like when you between middle school and high school when you guys just kicking rocks here? Yeah, I don't know. Vegas. Me and him used to blow up a lot of stuff. Yeah, we make blow up stuff. Yeah, well, like firecracker, like blood? little fireworks with just the ones that you can buy right. and you kind of modify. Yeah, with yeah. gasoline. Piccolo Pete's. Like yeah, Piccolo Pete. <laughs> but you guys all have your fingers and your toes. Yeah, no, every no, still, no, still no, no great yeah. damage to no, the no. flange. Yeah. Uh, but the mental, the mental damage is just. Yeah. 
Yeah, we had some good times. Yeah. Definitely spent. Yeah, yeah. Those sound like partying wild times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like well, rock right. and roll it days. Just, just me and him out well, in the middle of the street. One time. Two in the afternoon. So One time your neighbors called the police because we were playing in your garage. Oh, yeah. yeah the cops called them. We were playing us. too loud in my garage. Yeah. So we were pretty came. rock and roll back yeah. then. Yeah, I don't know. We went through a stage of writing that I think um, just happened because we were on tour so long yeah. and we got sick of those old songs so much that we wanted to write songs that were really compl complicated yeah. and, and kind of challenging for us. Yeah. And we did that and then we realized that it's not going to be any fun playing these live and we kind of decided to just leave that Scrap alone. that. And it was kind of a whole project. It was like a, a through line through the whole record. It was right. like a, kind of a short story and we just decided to put that on hold yeah. and just start writing some songs together and playing as a band yeah. and um, it's been a lot better. Yeah, yeah, look here. Yeah. 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 He's the DJ from the Hey Mr. DJ video. Yeah, that's, that's what made him famous. That's exactly right. big that's big claim to fame. Yeah. He says that before he meets anyone. Hey. Hey. What's up? <laughs> I'm Gabe. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm Steve, you know, from the uh, from the Cobra Starship video. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, so let's talk. Um, I got to interview you, so check it out. We're going to talk about Vegas a little bit because you're actually... This is pretty professional. I know, right? Okay, talk to me, dude. You're from Vegas. What do you feel like being here? I'm interviewing Ryan Ross, bro. Come on. Stop busting my balls. So, how do you feel like, you know, the thing is, usually go to VMAs, it's like a big trip, but you, all you have to do is like go down the street. Are you bummed out about that, that they were in Vegas this year? I'm excited. You're excited? Yeah. How come, you know, I've been here a couple of times, you've never given me a tour? No, nope. never will either. Why not? It's kind of like a secret. It's a secret? Yeah. What's like, Maybe the, later. what's the biggest secret about Vegas for people who aren't from here? Oh. You gotta go. Ryan Ross, say bye to friends or enemies. Bye friends or enemies. Are you my friend or enemy? Friend. Now we have some of the most, I don't even know what to, how to preface you guys. Panic at the disco. Seriously. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. How many people hi. are so excited to see you guys tonight? You're performing, correct? Yeah. yeah. And this is your second VMAs? Yeah. Is it good to come back home? It is. It is. It's, it's nice. good that it's in our hometown, you know? What is it about Vegas that makes people want to come here? Apparently, a lot of people love to lose money. I know. Have you guys they lost any money? Oh, yeah. Da oh, how down are you? Not too bad, but I just turned 21 about a week ago. So. Oh, that has to be lovely. My friend turned yeah. 400 into 20,000. Wow. No lie. Yes, definitely. I you were saying your friend turned 400 years old. The no, other day. he so, didn't wow. turn 400. So what are we working on? What's coming up for you guys? Well, we've been working on a new album for quite a while, and mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to head into the studio next month. <laughs> Sorry. Is there ever any panic when it comes to dressing for the VMAs? What? Is there any ever panic when it comes to dressing for award shows or the VMAs? We didn't really know until we woke up this morning. What, Neil, uh, let me see. What do you think of Panic at the Disco's album? I like it. It's stylish. It's trying but not trying. You know what I mean? I like it. It's not trying too hard, to but it works. In, you know, to in it's perfect. Market, but. This is the VMAs. This isn't like, you know, where you got to put on the stiff. This isn't that, you know? What about my outfit? What about my outfit? You can't get this anywhere else. Stars evaluating stars. Like, you got to check it out. Thanks, you guys. Have a cool. great Thank time. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks, guys. I, I need you guys to tell me what you're feeling about this energy today here in Las Vegas. There's a lot of energy here. It's a good energy. Everyone back here has seen to be winning, which I find a little strange. And it's all women playing, so I don't really know so what the demographic is going for, but it's, it seems to be working. It's working really well. Yeah. yeah. All the hot women are definitely a bonus. Yes, yes. Winning. Okay, you and guys, winning. <laughs> and you guys are heading up to the suite now. Tell me what we can expect when you guys get up there. Oh, well, I mean, it feels like a house party up there. We're just going to play and... You know, it's kind of like, it is. It's, it's really relaxed just because it's in a hotel room. So I mean, it's you know all of our friends, and it's really relaxed, and we're just gonna be having a good time. All right, well we're looking forward to watching you guys cool. today. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a good time. Thanks. Good luck to you. It would not be Las Vegas without an official Las Vegas band, Panic at the Disco. Welcome, guys. Hello. Thank you. Good to see you. Of course, 
One year ago tonight, you were the big story, winning video of the year, an amazing night I know it was, but it must be special also to have us here in your hometown. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we saved some money on hotel rooms and flights and things like that, so that's good. Exactly, you exactly. Um, no, it's cool. It's definitely cool. Uh, and, and I know you've been doing some partying this week. I, you just turned 21, Ryan. Yeah. You guys had a little bit of an issue the other night, yeah, right? A small issue. Yeah, me and Spencer yeah. are old enough to get in the club, so. Like, out, out in Vegas, it's a little harder, so. They're pretty hardcore about yeah, the partying out here, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to thank you because you were, in a sense, my style inspiration. For you tonight. look amazing. Yeah, well, I you look to better say. than all of us. and everything like else. So. I love the boots and the scarf. It's How's so everything nice. going with the new record? I know last time I saw you at the V Fest, you were saying probably early next year for a release. Is that? Yeah, we're still, still thinking that. Uh, we're supposed to be going to the studio in about three or four weeks to start tracking. So. Cool. Well, I know a lot of people are looking forward to that, and I love. For looking forward to tonight and seeing you guys later, hopefully. Yeah, awesome. Thanks a lot. Have yourselves a great time, all right? Cool. Thank you very Always much. good to see you. Right. Meantime, let's.
It's here in Vegas at, uh, at the Palms. Uh huh. Yes. What else? <laughs> <laughs> That's um, it. Tell me a little bit about that. Who else has recorded there? Are you guys the first ones to record? No. Won't be the last either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give us some hints about what the new album's gonna be like. Is it gonna be like your old album? Is there some new stuff? What's going on? There's gonna be yeah. all new songs, none from the last album. Sick. Sick. Totally <laughs> sick. And, um,. Yeah, it's a lot different. I mean, we wrote those songs a long time ago, so we're um, kind of into different things now, so that's huh? mm -hmm. And you guys split up the writing duties? You guys, are you still writing the lyrics? lyrics? Yeah, that um, it's, all, it's all kind of more, uh, everybody's kind of bringing their own ideas mm -hmm. in, and then we all work on it. It's a lot easier that way. And do you know when it's going to be done? When can we expect it out in the streets? On the streets? Uh, I mean, literally out of trunks of cars that I yeah, can buy on the black probably, market. Probably in like a week or so. Really? Out, that out soon? Of, out of the trunks of cars. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> Legally re released in about February or March. Yeah. <laughs> right over there. Yep. It's a question I ask everyone. You're going to make a sex tape with the celebrity. Who's it going to be? Brandon. Ryan Ross. <laughs> Ryan. I can't even. Is there <laughs> even a better hint? Do you want me? This is 11th hell. Oh, here comes the fan fiction. Here it freaking comes. Here it, uh, it's, it's already been coming. Can't get much worse. That's what she said. <laughs> Thank you for finishing it. God. That's a shot. <laughs>
rains and flooding lungs Sugar cane I was Good. thinking about that melody, and I know we changed it from what it originally was on the demo, but I think that maybe the original way we had it was Which was better. what? It's just the same as the way he sings it the first time. Okay, so... If To stay. It came from your pen. So there's a tough dynamic there, and I totally understand, I think it's completely legitimate, that you say, you know what, I've got, to, I've got to be singing more. I'd rather do a thing where it's like, I sing the verse and he does the choruses, or at least something. It's a story, uh, rambling man. <laughs> Over sleeping waves like bobbing bait for bathing cars, floating flocks of candled swans slowly drift across wax ponds. The men all played along to marching drums, and boy, did they have fun behind the sea. They sang. Our marching clocks And we're all too small To talk to God Yes, we're all too small To talk to God Toast of fine folks Casting silver crumbs To us from the dark Jinx things ringing As they leak Through tiny cracks in the Talk to God. Oh, we're all too.